Lord. Somebody was painting this all night. He was cold, but he refused to stay underneath the sleeping bag with me. I was using it just like a blanket. But uh, he get cold, so he'd cuddle up. So I put the sleeping bag on him, he get warm, and then he'd wake up. Do you, do you have to eat my hands? You, you can't, you're not supposed to eat hands. No, or the tent, please. Thank you. So, uh, day two, I guess. This is site five. Look, there's the privy and the bear box and the elevator. So I put the big deal there. I'm set up, like, cool. Next to fire pit, but I don't intend to use it. But I'm not staked down, so I mean, if I do decide to stay here versus going back and taking site, Six, which is the site I rented, I booked anyway. Then uh, it's quick and easy to tear everything down and move. The copper, I want to go down to the lake. And there it is. It would be like you can see over there. That's the beach for site six. And there's the trail right there. It goes up to the campsite. Hey everyone, so uh, Manitoba, much of this flat, I'm boring for a lot of it. We do have a lot of lakes, but a lot of good fishing. So I picked up a travel fishing rod and I'm going to uh, give it the old college try. Okay, so I just left site six. It's technically my site, but basically what happened was is the map from the water, it's not clear what site is which. And site five is very hard to find, but from the water. So I went down there this morning when I was fishing and uh, that's gonna be a hell of a steep climb with coolers and stuff. So I walked down there just to talk to them. They're only staying one more night, so. I'll let them stay there, and then tomorrow afternoon, I'll move from site five to site six. <sighs> a lot of hills. Just got a satellite text from Chris. He's on the way with his puppies. So, uh, should be a good time. For now, we're gonna hike back to the truck, run to town, grab some firewood and all that, and uh, check in with you guys in a bit. I didn't really see it last night, but this is pretty much what the whole trail is like. Uh, a lot of hills, but it's double wide, so ATVs and stuff can go. I don't think he noticed the squirrel. No, he did. Hey, come on. Let's keep going. Good boy. So, to get from the parking lot to Site 6 is 2K. I think Site 5 is like. 100 to 200 meters from site 6 so basically it's six campsites spread out over a kilometer each one is in fairly dense bush so get a lot of privacy so i'm just like i said before i'm walking back to the truck i'm gonna run to nopamang lodge and uh i gotta grab some minnows so i forgot I think the fishing videos you almost caught a jackfish, but he missed the jig as I made it twitch hoping he'd grab it. So we're gonna try again later with some minnows. So uh yeah. Do a little check-in once we link up with Chris, I think. So here between the three years that I've been coming here, I've never actually gone to Tulby Falls itself. I've always just gone up to Tulaby Lake and camp in, camp in the backcountry. Oh, pup. So, we're gonna go check it out. Now, that being said, full disclosure, most of what Manitoba calls waterfalls are just big rapids.
as I suspected, just big rapids. He is pretty thoroughly done with hiking today. Done quite a lot of hiking. He's uh, slowed down quite a bit, but he's still going. I checked his paws a few minutes ago just to make sure they were all good. And now we're just heading back to camp for the night. It's like four or five in the afternoon. Come on, puppy. So I will uh, just check in again once we're back at camp. Okay, so we are back in the tent. Puppy is in the corner sleeping on my sleeping bag. We did uh, 13 kilometers of hiking with about 160 meters of elevation, give or take. So it's uh, been a long day for us. Uh, yeah, if you uh, like what I'm doing here, assuming I don't do any more videos for today, if you like what I'm doing here, uh, make sure you hit subscribe, get the, hit the bell so you get notifications whenever I upload new content. Give this video a like, uh, drop some comments down below, it'd be awesome. And uh, thank you all so much for watching.